Hi guys, Jay here, and today we're back in Star Trek Online. So, long wait between videos, been busy with planning and doing Game Heroes 2018 live stream, which today we can still donate to the cause, which is linking the donation till the end of the year. So, we are going back and we're carrying on with the Victories Live Gamma Quadrant missions, which is today Quark Lucky 7, which I have heard a lot of good things from this and I've been trying to hide, trying not to watch these videos on it, but there's little memes going around so I can't wait to play this mission. Let's see what happens. My apologies for the quality of the transmission. I'm contacting you on an encrypted frequency. I'm working on an important covert mission and I could use your assistance. I can't go into the details over comms, but you should know, if we pull this off, it could change the course of the hurt conflict in our favor. Meet with me on Deep Space Nine to go over the details. Come along. I've been asked to keep the details of the mission on a need-to-know basis, and right now, only you and I need to know. Okay, so I've got DS9, Alpha Quadrant, which I'm already in, luckily. at Star by 621. Single play missions for people who want to co-op, sadly you can't do it in this. Get SL White for Gemidar players. Go press Latinum, okay. And that seems to turn Lex. I think I remember Lex from the episodes. I can't remember now. It's been so long since I watched DS9. Okay, let's go. Good luck. Okay, arriving at DS9. Yes, if it comes up the mission. Yes, begin and start. We we'll begin. Quark's lucky seven. No, absolutely not. This is your worst idea yet. Do I need to remind you of the unwritten rule of acquisition, brother? Rule zero. What the Nagus wants, we acquire. Why me? Get an eliminator to do it. Get 50. You can afford it. You have connections with the Klingons. That and your Rom's second most trusted Ferengi. What? Who's first? Not Pell? No. Boogie. Fine. Send her then. But brother, you did such a great job of rescuing her before. I also told your son to shoot me if I ever thought of doing something like that again. That's right, you did. Well, don't worry, he won't. That's not what I'm worried about. We need this, brother. We can't hold off the Herc forever. Alliance forces are spread too thin to help, Quark. We need the Klingons, brother. Otherwise, we're doomed. Insanity! You don't even know where the Iconian fleet is, Rom. I don't, but Starfleet Intelligence monitors all major threats, including the Iconians. Starfleet isn't in the habit of sharing classified data. If we can get access to a security console, we can extract the data. We'll need to keep the security officer on duty occupied. <laughs> Leave that to me, husband. All right, Lita. The security officer on duty is a creature of habit. Comes in on her break every day without fail. Your job is to keep her occupied so Rom can get what we need from the security console. Do what you need to do. Smile, laugh at her jokes, whatever it takes. Put those feminine wiles of yours to good use. Oh my god, we're actually playing this Lita. <laughs> feminine wiles? Really, Quark? I'm not here to seduce your customers. You and I both know there's more than one way to work a mark. Whatever you say, just don't mess it up. She'll be here any minute now. Oh, please don't mess this up. This would be so cool. You worry too much, Quark. I got this. Woo! It's your lucky day, officer. You're the 10 millionth customer here at Quark's. Congratulations! You've just won a free drink and a free spin at the Davo table. Quark, why don't you pour the lucky winner a drink? What'll it be, Constable? 
<laughs> oh, thanks. I'll take a nice track to Gino. Oh, great. I I'm on was duty. useful. I can't stay too long, but I suppose I have enough time for a spin at the table. Lead the way. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. Yeah, she is. Oh, serves drink before. Don't shout. It's your first day. Will you turn that hollow me off, please? It's creeping me out. This is why I like the hollow leader. She doesn't complain as much as the original. There. Happy? Yes, thank you, Quark. I'm not I'm not gonna do the voice, I'm not gonna attempt it. The free drink will get her to relax. And then some Dabo to keep her busy. I have no card to play this, so oh, looks like my luck's run out. Oh well. Thanks for the drink and the spin. Better get back to my station. Wait. Whoa, 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 don't be so hasty, friend. The law of averages is on your side here. Trust me. Have another spin on the house. What have you got to lose? Let's continue. Okay, you've convinced me. One more spin. Why not? Oh, great. Of course Quark would have that. Of course. Uh, those winnings are coming out of your cut, though. Good. The guard's distracted. Time to go to work. Overriding this door panel should be child's play. This is the most secret maintenance panel. Oh my god, it's Chief been... O'Brien needed me to fix it once. Okay, this is cool. Oh! Rom's got my weapon. <laughs> Just so much of our episode feeling. Uh, Right? Oh, well, actually can do this in my sleep. <laughs> Use the S9 engineering. Yeah, that's true. Rom does have that. He's a grub pie. Mmm, grub pie. Override. Once I'm in, I can install a back Oop, door. I want to press that. I can't be running then this. We can access the system from the console at Quarks. Test password. Okay. First digit one. Test one. Okay, that's right though. Change digital password one. Test. Nope. It's gonna make. It take some time. Um. Nope. Wrong. Oh, that's right. Oh, brute force. No, I'm not risking that. Unless it's. I've been stupid. You can do that. Uh, change third second. Wrong. Change brute force. Oh, okay. I just brute forced it. <laughs> Done. She's heading back, Rom. Oh, crap. Come on, come on, come on. Come, on. come on, Rom. Let's go. Dumb. Relax, everyone. It's done. <sighs> I'm on my way back. Try not to look conspicuous. Or guilty. Oh. Okay. I've done nothing wrong. I'm just an innocent Grand Nagus just walking around. Then you spent engineering powers for hacking your door. Okay, here you go, Quark. Can't believe you pulled that off. Being the Nagus hasn't made you go soft between the lobes. Let's figure this out before security gets wise. Use the console behind the bar and find out what you can about the Iconians. Oh, and while you're at it, look for any other useful information in there, too. Some of it could be valuable, you know. Okay, I can't, I can't Relax, do it. brother. I'll have these files cracked in no time. Starfleet encryption is good, but it's nothing compared to what we use in the Commerce Authority. That's actually difficult. Can you do the bomb's voice? I don't think it was that good. 
God, I can't read that episode. Me calls up the um crap, what was it called? Obsidian and Wooda officer and he gets caught. <laughs> Borg. Intelligence officers log stardate 87961.3. Intermittent Borg activity in the quadrant. We've been able to track a Unimatrix vessel, and our countermeasures are keeping its fleet at bay. The recent escalation of the Hurt conflict is straining the number of resources available for Borg surveillance. That's true, right? Being in the game, everyone was worried about the Borg, and then now we're really barely worried about him. That them now. That's crazy. The Breen, haven't seen him in a while, who you Intelligence officers log, start at 87983.1. Breen forces continue to harass the Teferi, though hostilities have not intensified as of late. The Breen have made no overtures toward the Dominion since their recent return to the Alpha Quadrant. Looks like the honeymoon might be over at last. At least they're not working with him, yeah, that's good. But, they're still attacking the... The furry, yes. oh, I can't say the fair, I can't pronounce them. They're just useless, aren't they? I can't pronounce them. Intelligence officers log, stardate 88139.9. A large Vakiri fleet has been spotted Fikiri. in transit okay. to the Gamma Quadrant. Analysis of their course suggests they're heading toward the Renegade Iconian fleet. Interesting. If the two of them manage to eliminate each other, well... That'll be two less headaches to keep me up at night. That'll be true, yeah. Intelligence officers log, stardate 89001.7. Major Herc activity throughout the four quadrants. As expected, Alliance forces are spread thin in attempts to protect critical sites in their own territory, as well as within the Dominion. The Klingons continue to stay out of it, with the exception of a token force of volunteers. Efforts to enlist the full aid of the Empire to date have faltered. Well, with this plan, hopefully we can get them in. Like when we go into the Dominion as well. Intelligence officers log started 88039.8. Taket's fleet is currently in the Feban sector, moving through deep space. She's keeping a low profile for the most part, avoiding conflict with both the Dominion and the Herc. Anything foolish enough to get in her sights doesn't live long enough to regret it, however. The wreckage of a Gamma pirate flotilla will testify to that. The cats, she's the one that got arm chopped off, I believe. Oh, Nicole. Intelligence officers log, stardate 87997.9. I can't help but be impressed by the Nakul. Their star is all but dead, their world's an ice ball, and they refuse to leave. They defend that ice ball against all comers, even the Herc. Every not cool big enough to carry a phaser fought, and they actually won. And I thought Tellarites were stubborn. <laughs> the Terrans are all great, damn. Intelligence officers log start at 88006.2. There have been some recent Terran incursions from the Badlands, but nothing overly organized. As of now, there hasn't been any sight of Admiral Lita since her attack on DS9. Perhaps she has finally given up. <laughs> One can only hope. Yeah, Admiral Lita. If that was Lita in disguise, that'd be crazy. Brilliant. Intelligence officers log, start at 89101.1. Tholian web technology has worked well against the Herc so far. They ensnared 70% of a Herc fleet shortly after it dropped out of warp. The rest of the fight was brief and one-sided. At least Tholian xenophobia is consistent. Our attempts to negotiate for web technology have been completely ignored. Of course it would be. It's the Tholians. Intelligence officers log start at 89001.7. Getting a lot of disturbing reports from Zen Cathy Space lately. Whispers of corruption in the highest ranks and talks of a coup are in the air on Zen Cath. The Autark's days might be numbered after his crusade failed. The arrival of the Herc has kept him on the throne for now. Yeah, for now. That's all the information I need. The info. Let's go to talk to Rom and Quark. All right, Rom, a deal is a deal. You found the Iconian, so I guess it's my turn now. Time to put the team together? Yes, it is time. 
And that's the job. Confront. Where's Gala? Really? He shot the hostage last time. He's not invited. Brunt, your database skills should help us locate the package. Always happy to help, Grand Nagus. Retreat. Still a master of Rule 33. Aren't you, Brunt? It never hurts to suck up to the boss. Of course. I presume you'll need my ship again, yes? Not this time. We'll need a ship that can fight, just in case. And we'll have it, thanks to our friend here. Oh. Good. Everyone's here. Also, full consortium. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. The table's rigged. I'm sure of it. <laughs> That's funny. How I walked in. Here we are. The cloaking device I, I acquired from my cousin Gala is working like a charm. Keep an eye on it, though. I'd rather not attract the attention of the Iconians. Or the Fakiri, for that matter. Uh, I got cloak. My ship has it. Why do I need to use yours? I okay, agreed. Looks like they're busy trying to blow each other to bits out there. Let's use that to our advantage. You see those Iconian sentry probes? They use those to detect cloaked ships. So, you'll want to disable them before we move much closer. This cloak is good, but it's not that good. It's been a while since I've seen Iconians, so... Okay, understood. Getting in's the easy part. We're cloaked and unexpected. Oh, I thought there was a fire on them, but nope. Just disabling. Oh, 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 don't go past it. It's been a while since I see my ship's been in cloak. Okay. Disable the sensory probe. No, I don't want to go backwards. That should be enough to get to the flagship undetected. Okay, let's go. Well, we can all stop holding our breath now. It worked. If you'll be so kind as to fly us behind that massive Iconian ship, we'll be on our way. That should be easy too. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Almost there. Just take it nice and easy. Oh, I can't go. Full impulse. Okay, we're close. I'm here. I'm really close to it. Um, Sent on player, zoom in. I'm in the zone. Zone. I'm just too close. Oh my god. For Curry ships. Maybe down there? Yeah. yeah. I can't believe I'm actually going to sneak onto an Iconian flagship. Uh, Keep the engine running, okay? I have a feeling we're going to need to get out of here in a hurry. Okay. Also, people who's watching the video, there's a new ship, the New Orleans class, if I can find it here somewhere. Uh, I should have prepared this earlier, but I haven't. I was very illly prepared. Because I, I forgot it was coming out. Um, I'm tempted to get this ship. What do you think? Should I get it and place it as the Nikesco and just retcon the older ships? And this would be the the original A in the Kesco, or should I just keep this ship? Say in the comments below if people do comment below, it's very rare people do that. Okay, let's go back to the mission. Your shot was prepped, good luck. I've never been this close before. Impressive. Terrifying is more like it. This is insane.
Nog, you're our engineer. Buy it 400 and sell it five. It'll be up to you to disable the security systems, son. Right. I'm familiar with their tech from the war. I won't let you down, father. Evade. You want my plane now? We're up first, Nog. We need to lower the local security so Brunt and Lek can do their jobs. Right. No problem. I memorized the schematics for this vessel on the way here. There are engineering consoles we can use for that nearby. Follow me. Oh, can I not right click it? Well, well this is cool to be playing as Nog. So is this way to go? Because I go left. Head left here, Nog. Guys, what are you shouting for? Same time, this is not gonna go well. I've studied Iconian systems. I can unlock these doors. <sighs> if I send the appropriate signals to the door, we'll have to disable security and engineering. The, the good news is that my tricorder can get me the signal I need to send. The bad news is the Iconian systems only take trinary input. I think I see how the inputs work, so it shouldn't be too hard. Toggle door lock. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Signal needed that, okay. Uh, change the first digit to be two. Nope. Come on. Can't signal, nope. Zero. Yep, try call was done. Send signal. <laughs> Got it. And we're done here. These shortcuts are working. Oh, crap. Some of these guys. Oh great, I can't even get Nog's weapons out. Hmm. That's not great. Oh, that's good. Heralds! Don't worry, I can handle them. This feels weird using these buttons, I always have auto stuff. Doesn't work. Uh, oh crap, I've got that. Go, go this way. There's nothing. Maybe this way should be the right way. Oh, this music's epic. Come on, Nog. Oh, crap. Oh, did I get him? Hold on, Uncle. Something's coming. Oh. That looks like more than we can handle. Let Lek take care of it. He'll probably enjoy it. I think I can lock the door behind once it's gone. Great idea. Uh, do that. Quickly! Head right here. Oh, let me lock the door. Second, change first, second, tricord, done. Got it, and we're done here. Okay. Okay, let's go. Come on. Hey, right, is it? It's done. These don't, no, these don't do explosions, that's good. We've made it! This is main engineering! Come on, don't jump for a portal, please don't. Oh god, he's gone through a portal. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Quark, come on! Oh, I didn't click it. Security's offline. We're good to go. Can we drop their rear shield for a moment? Uh, override From console. The other console? Why? You'll see. What's that, Uncle? Call it an insurance policy. Lack, how do you feel about Iconian Heralds? 
very dangerous. I look forward to shooting some. Sell it 250? Buy it 100. You'll get your chance clearing the path for Quark and Nog. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. I'm in. Black, Brunt, you're on. Oh, okay, this is gonna be cool. <laughs> Brunt, FCA. I'm on my way. The hunt is on. Oh. Back. Good, good. Oh my god, Lex weapons are awesome. Magnificent. He's throwing Truly up. Magnificent. It's looking this way between patrol points. I should be able to sneak up on them if I duck behind the walls. <laughs> Just for these commentating. Oh, no, nope. you want to do that? Throw knives. Throw knife. Oh, do you want to do that? Me kill him. Oh, don't get stuck. Stupid thing. I hate this so much. Well, that's been destroyed. That's good. Oh, did I know? What's this? I bet I could make that console explode remotely. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be cool. That works. I found the package. The Iconian keeps it on display in what looks like a trophy room. And here I thought they were above such basic behavior. <laughs> I've analyzed their patrol patterns, Lek. You'll need a clear path for Quark and Nug. I trust you'll keep the guards in that area occupied for a suitable period of time? Of course. Testing my skills against Iconians? <laughs> this is worth more than Latinum to me. Don't get your lobes bunched, Brunt. I'll clear the path for the others by any means necessary. Move this way, straight. This is more running with uh, it. This is so funny. But it would be, really would work in this situation though. You have to be sneaky. Sneaky sneaky. Oh what's control? More enemies to the left. And another console. Let's do it. What? Still no explosion? Ugh. <laughs> That's funny. You watch the explosion it doesn't work. If I make some noise, the big one will come to investigate. Make noise. Oh my god, Lek. This isn't work. This is fine damage detected. Oh wait, he's dead. Oh, uh, Thanks, though, <laughs> Star Trek Online. This is a bit of a bug. Um, you could give someone some fright if they don't they forgot about it. Hopefully, they don't have to go past it again. Just, oh, this music suits it. It still suits it. Oh, 
suppose that. Oh, another one. Do I go straight? Or? Yeah, straight. Oh, no console. Will there be an explosion? I overload those conduits. <laughs> I'm sure it'll make a big explosion. Let's do it. Doesn't anything blow up around here? <laughs> okay. The path is clear. That was funny. I'm detecting some nearby patrols. Okay, it's this Let's way. Let's see if I can cause a distraction. Hold on. Yeah, with an explosion, because everything he does is just going so wrong. It's this way, damn. Oh yeah, they get intact with the hook, I forgot about that. Oh, Tefila. Is I'm going the right way? Yes, I am. Is there a console near here? Nope. So, oh, I'm going to start. Deck has to take them out. I'm definitely getting these knives. They'll be cool new weapon. Oh. What gun does he even have? Does not even tell me? <laughs> That is so powerful. OP. Oh, what's this? If I blow up that console, it'll cause a nice distraction. Will you be able to blow it up? <laughs> That's the thing. Nog, how do I overload these ridiculous Iconian consoles? Easy. First, you need to wait. How are you at trinary conversions? Ah, uh, never mind. I have a workaround. Brother, you'll crack the safe. Once Brunt finds it, that is. Nice of you to give me the easy job, Rom. By that point, Lek will have eliminated their guards. We're talking about Iconians here, Rom. I'll be with you, Uncle. You'll be fine. Oh, I feel so much better now. Time for me to earn my share. Watch and learn. Well, at least Slick managed to get an explosion. So, well, that's gonna be my thumbnail as well. That's so funny. Oh, he's got throwing No, he's got throwing knives. These constructs are so weak compared to when we used to play. Oh. Well, am I going the wrong way? No, I'm not going the wrong way. No, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> okay, a bit more. Come on, get in range. It's not gonna. Yep. I knew it. He's gonna scream. I can't even crouch. Come on. Cork. Crouch. No, what are you going? We can't crouch. No, we can't crouch. <laughs> you know he's known for crap, squatting and hiding. You know, you were supposed to shoot me if I got pulled into another one of these. I thought you meant rescue operations. I can shoot you later if you'd like. <laughs> no, it just wouldn't be the same. <laughs> <laughs> this door's open. Come on. Is this way? To yeah, yeah, yep, Lex's been here. And of course, he's dead, isn't he? Yep. Don't want to second guess myself. Ha! I'm impressed! Yeah, but killing him and still standing up, that is impressive. That's one word for it. At least we know not to mess with Lek now, because he just will kill you easily as well. 
It's Lek. I'm sorry, I remember Lek was in the TV show and not. It must, it must be. It's this way, isn't it? Yes, it is. <sighs> he left some guarding the trophy room. It's okay, Uncle. We can handle them. Yeah, with these guns. Oh, that was easy. Yes, yeah, someone's gonna do explosion. All right, now let's find the package. It has to be in one of the display cases around the room. Yes, it quite is. Hey, minute. Interesting. Yeah. I read about these at the academy. Something called NASA sent them out on crude space probes centuries ago to initiate first contact with alien life. I believe this contains audio files, animal sounds, music, language samples. My Earth history instructor would love to get her hands on this. We should, uh, acquire it if we have the time. My on the mission, Nog. God, that is the disc, yeah, from the satellites. Yeah, I can't remember which one that was. Is it Voyager? I'm not I'm sure. This, oh my god, how did they get a baseball bat and the ball? Is this Cisco's? Uncle, that looks like Captain Cisco's baseball. You don't think it's his, do you? I thought Jake took it with him. Could be. Uh, do you remember when Cisco made us play baseball against the Falcons? Mom wouldn't stop talking about it for weeks. Put a bunch of money into that new interstellar league, too. Still can't believe you bought a professional team. The Ferenginar Liquidators. They're terrible. Got beat by the Cation Claws by a score of 18 to 4. And they were cheating! <laughs> of course they'd be cheating. And that was a good episode as well. I thought I'd win like it, but I didn't enjoy it. But isn't the ball in the new office now? The... Oh, what's his name? I've forgotten his name now. The new captain that's on this is DS9. What is this? A balloon gun? Or a balloon? Looks like it. Ah, you know, I always told the top brass at the Corps of Engineers that making the party poppers look like weapons was a bad idea. Any officer who uses one of those instead of a real weapon is in for a bad day. I suspect that's how Taket got her hand on one of these balloons. Shame. Oh my god, I feel so for the officer then. <laughs> and what's this? I'm not sure, what is this? That's a bottle of prunes. Oh. I'd recognize that color anywhere. War constantly demanded I have a bottle on hand at the bar. A warrior's drink, he called it. More like a torture drink. I tried some once. Let's just say that it was not a pleasant digestive experience. <laughs> but this is Wolf's drink. These Iconians are stealing everything. Oh my god, com badges. Oh, that's a bit dark. That's definitely dark. Seeing these reminds me of the Dominion. A lot of those were sent back home to loved ones. Starfleet, Klingons, the Romulans, they all have their different rituals. Even the enemy cared for their dead. And they say you don't have a heart, Uncle. They're right. <laughs> it's too bad we don't have enough time to steal these and sell them back to the people who want them. 34th rule of acquisition, Nog. War is good for business. Oh god, of course it's you, Quarky, this one's silly. I can't, it's sad that we can't get that. It'd be quite interesting. Okay, I'm gonna look at. I think this is what we're getting the sort of Kaylas. But I'll get you a bit later. Let's see what else is here. What is this? Ah, uh, I've seen these statues on New Romulus. They oh, were made yeah. by the Day Ones, a servitor race of the Iconians. Not sure why Tiket would keep one of these on display. Maybe it's of a sentimental value to her. Even if that's possible. She's not the sentimental type. Oh yeah. Her arm. Oh god, if we crypt it, we a lockbox. Wow. Looks like a secure treasure box. I wonder what's inside. 
could be practically anything. Leave it to an Iconian to lock up a box of valuables and hoard it away. <laughs> yeah, thanks, well, Cork. Not everyone is as good at opening locks as you, Uncle. Most people would need the appropriate key. Oh, great nom dog as well. <laughs> That's funny. It's like most people or something like that. What? Is that latinum? I mean, that is latinum. That's a lot of latinum. Impressive. I could buy a Starliner with that and have enough left to buy a condo on Ryza. Probably not beachfront, but it'd be nice. It's FCA graded too. She must have gotten it from a Ferengi. Oh, tough break. Seems only fitting that we acquire it. <laughs> Fine. Mind on the mission. Stop looking at me like that. Yeah, of course, Tonk would look at that. Look at that as quark. <laughs> What's this? Oh my god, it's her arm, isn't it? Is that part of an Iconian? Why would Tiket keep a severed body part? That's insane. Maybe he wants, she wants to retouch it, but why well, hasn't she retouched it? Or oh, she's like, maybe a failure? Tiket lost her arm when she fought Kalis during the war. She's keeping it as a trophy or, or maybe a reminder of one of her few failures. I knew she was intense, but this is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, it is. No comment, next. And... What's that? A black hole? That is a black hole. Great. Amazing! That's a singularity! Oh, okay. must have taken yeah, it from a black hole. Romulan warbird. You could say it was the heart of that ship. <laughs> Must have been a memorable opponent for her to keep that on display like this. She keeps black. She keeps black hole. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to sort of Kalos. That's what we want. Oh, it's cool to see that again. Package located. The sword of Kalos. Now we need to retrieve it. Okay. Retrieve sword of Kalos. I can use this to bring the package from its display globe. I need to use the right frequencies though. Enter the wrong one, and every alarm around will go off. The frequencies change periodically. Once I start this, I need to get them all. Or I'll have to start over. Great. Oh, it's going to be those. I can just scan the machine for you. Should be easy enough to get the frequencies. And they report. You of all people should know that Federation tricorders record whatever they scan. Never leave a data trail. We'll do this the Ferengi way. It'll take someone with the lobes for the job. That's me. When we're talking about data trail, Nox has been scanning the doors. So we're not leaving data trail. Okay, so that's for. Okay, next frequency. 15 and that, so I'd go below. Plus one. Oh no! Oh crap! I'm past it. Next frequency. Forty. So plus five. Got it. Yes. Take the sword. Oh, in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Uncle. We did it. We actually did it. We shouldn't stick around though. Let's head back to the shuttle before the Iconians figure out what we're up to. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. Rule seven. Keep your ears open and your eyes on the mark. Oh, no, stop. This is no time to get sloppy. That was a bit weird. The initial sentence off. Okay, you have to escape. This way. So it was enemies. Nope, it's not enemies. Hopefully. Oh. That's far enough. Brunt, I knew it's gonna be you. Of course. I can't get close to him. Well yeah. done, Quark. You actually managed to pull it off. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. You've a talent for larceny after all. Time, however, is a factor. Hand it over now. Or I'll shoot you both and take it from your cold dead fingers. Of course it runt. Oh. 
so expect you would expect it. You've been a dick in that TV show as well. Now you would do it again. You in there? Are you out of your mind? Have you forgotten who Nog and I are related to? No payout is worth what will happen to you if you do this. Ron will have every Eliminator, Bounty Hunter, and Pirate in the Four Quadrants gunning for you. Nog, what are you facing the wrong way for? Yeah. How did Lek put it? Oh, yes. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. Wise words indeed. The payout from this job will provide me with more than enough latinum to remove your idiot brother and take my rightful place as the Grand Nagus. I'm willing to give you a sporting chance, however. Hand over the package. You might be able to flee before that very angry Iconian arrives. This is insane. Have it your way, Brunt. You're dumber than you look. If you think the crew of our ride won't be suspicious when you come back without us. They'll probably throw you in the brig on general principle. I know I would. Yeah, I'll probably would just yeah, I will. <laughs> ah, but I won't be traveling with them, Quark. I've made other travel arrangements. Time's up. Hand it over, or prepare to meet the blessed exchequer. I'd pay a lot to witness that audit. Might even be worth dying for, just to hear you scream on your way to the vault of eternal destitution. This court screen is so funny now. <laughs> Hand it over. Oh, that's a shame. Goodbye, Quark. At last, goodbye! Nog, now! Wait. A force field? It will not stop me for any. Look a little closer. That's a chroniton field. You might make it through, but it's definitely gonna hurt. A lot. Or we can talk like sensible, intelligent people. Your call. Still a lot, but never gets caught. He might be in trouble for this. Still, me. That's where you're wrong. I don't have anything of yours on me. Run a scan if you don't believe me. If anything, I was trying to stop the lunatic that did steal from you. I may be odious vermin, but I'm not stupid. Look, we should be working together to stop our mutual enemy instead of wasting time with this argument. There will be plenty of time to eliminate each and every one of you filthy creatures. That field of yours will drop eventually, and then you will die. Your cobalt will be trapped and ultimately killed. I will have my vengeance on you all soon enough. Good point. You're not entirely wrong, but I think you're going to have a much bigger problem to deal with. In the very near future, any moment now. Remember this? A little something we picked up on Karema. Keep it on your ship and beam it to our location when we give you the signal. What's that, Uncle? Call it an insurance policy. You might make it through. But it's definitely gonna hurt. A lot. Or we can talk like sensible intelligent people. Your call. Explain yourself. Speak what you still can, Ferengi. 
Oh, I recognize what that is. Where is it? Oh. Can't see. Oh, it's location. That's the uh, Herc thing. Oh, great. Oh, that. They're called Herc. Maybe you've heard of them. Real nasty dispositions. Eat everything they come across, and now they've come across your fleet. You Iconians are tough, but you're not invincible. Against the Fakiri and the Herc? Those are some pretty long odds to get. Here's how this is going to work. You're going to let us go, and in return, I'll disable the device that's bringing every Herc in the Quadrant here to chew on your ship. We'll go our way, you'll go yours. Otherwise, we'll wait and see what happens first. My field drops, or you and your ship become the main course at the Herc Buffet. That's good. Dirty, but good. I am creating your terms. Go! Get out! Leave my ship and disable your precious device. Know this. You've made a enemy today for me. I am patient. I will avenge myself. <laughs> you will pay for your crimes. You said that before and you'd be saying that again constantly. She sounds like a lot of Odo, doesn't she? She does actually sound like a lot of Odo. Right. Then we have a deal. We'll be on our way then. I'll take care of your hurt problem once I've made it to a safe distance. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but we both know that'd be a lie. Almost there, but we lost the sword. We went through all of this, and for what? Well, we're in more trouble now. We got a hurricane. The remote's been destroyed. It's not over yet. Quark to Madrin. Is the package secured? Madrin here. You'll be happy to know the package is safe and sound. I beamed it to your ship a few minutes ago. I'm afraid Brunt is a little bruised. But these things happen. I'll keep him nice and sedated until we get back to the Alpha Quadrant. And Quark, be sure to let the Nagus know I held up my end of the bargain, <laughs> won't you? He used to go had a backup plan I knew, or if that was a plan I knew he was going to betray them. Marjorie, he's from the older mission to come with which one, but he does seem familiar. And of course... I'll be sure to let him know, Marjorie. Quark out. Always have a backup plan, Nog. Especially when dealing with snakes like Brunt. Let's go. Yeah, I knew it had a back there's a backup plan. Let's go. And look! The shuttle's right where we left it! Things are looking up for a change! Let's get out of here before Tkat changes her mind. Yeah, that's true. Let's go. Thanks for sticking around. Now, if you don't mind, let's get back to DS9. A very cranky Iconian is looking for an excuse to kill us all. I'd rather not give him one more. Thankfully, he'll be busy dealing with the hurt. Garrick's little toy works like a charm. It's very true in that. It's very loud in this guy. We've got a problem. The cloaking device is acting up. If it goes down, every ship in the system will know we're here. I'll do what I can to keep it running, but we might need to fight our way out of here. And it's still Captain, even though I've got a cloak on me. The cloak's offline! Right. Terrific. This is what I get for buying it from Gale. 
Oh god, Don't this worry. guy. I'll be running it again. I just need a couple minutes. Okay. Do that. Let's get ourselves out of here. Found another way back. Come on. Those ships are attacking each other as much as they're attacking us. Oh, we're getting out of here, come on. Oh, a minute. Great. Uh oh. That's not good. Heavy beam turret. Come on. Confuse them all. Come on, please confuse them all. Just one more minute. Keep us safe. Okay. Okay, it's good. Carry on. Mom. This is not healthy for the ship at all. Wow. Oh god, this is not good. Very shielding. Heal myself. Got to get out of here. Power the engines. Come on. They are really fast. Oh, great rear shields. Come on. Oh, finally. That's good. Okay, let's get away. Move out of range. Don't want anyone sensing our work. Looks online again, and we're at a safe distance from the enemy. We can leave as soon as you're ready. Yeah, let's go. Excellent. I don't know about the rest of you, but I was ready to go the minute we warped into this system. And I'm doubly ready to go now. Not to tell you your business, but make it so, please. Engage. Oh, no warp out animation. Clark and Nog told me you did a great job keeping them all safe. Thank you for bringing them back in one piece. The sixth rule of acquisition says, never allow family to stand in the way of opportunity. But what can I say? Family means a lot to me. <laughs> what happened to Brunt? Brunt is ambitious, but predictable. We expected him to betray us, and we capitalized on it. Brunt made life difficult for the Nausicans who worked for Madrin. That was a painful decision. Ask Dr. Bashir about that if you're interested. And uh, Madrin? Brunt made the mistake of dealing with someone more ambitious than he was. Madrin came to me shortly after Brunt made him an offer, and I made Madrin a counter offer he couldn't refuse. <laughs> I think I just came up with a new rule of acquisition. It's not smart to turn down a deal with the Grand Agus. I'm pretty sure Madrin would agree with that. So now what? There's something I'm curious about. The Herc stole the Sword of Kalis from the Klingons a long time ago. But no one seems to know why. They didn't eat it, so there must be something about it they value. And we Ferengi are all about value. Perhaps the lab's sensors and equipment can tell us more. Maybe it's made of a rare, precious metal. Of course you guys are for value. It's possible, let's find out. Where's first off to share about Brunt? What can I do for you? How is Brunt doing? Well, he's got a deep contusion of the auricular lobe, and a possible dislocated malleus. Normally, in a Ferengi, either condition could be fatal, but it seems that whoever did this to our friend here knew exactly how to keep the damage just this side of lethal. Luckily for the patient, he'll live. Unluckily, there's only so much modern medicine can do to numb this type of pain. Quark and Rom don't seem too concerned, though. Ouch. And they'll both pay for their crimes! Ah! Doctor. If you say so, Brandt. But the Grand Nagus has other ideas, I'm afraid. And I hear that Ferengi prison is unpleasant. 
to say the least. None of the Ferengi were willing to tell me what led to Brunt looking like he went 10 rounds with the Gorn heavyweight champion. Care to enlighten me? That's classified, Doctor. Sorry. Okay, let's go and scan. Okay, perform multi molecular dating. Based on the scans, that carapace was around for quite a long time before Kalos made a weapon out of it. The blade material is over 4,000 years old, where the story of Kalos is roughly only 1,600 years old. That is amazing. I think. I can't remember. <laughs> okay, let's see what this one does. Perform, perform gamma secocopathy. I'm reading traces of multiple radiation types within the blade. Discounting the type that likely came from the Iconians, there are still clear traces of thermobaric and tetrionic radiation. I believe we could cross-reference Alliance and Dominion star charts and easily determine where these traces of radiation originated from. Interesting. And this one before molecular, molecular scan. Great, I can't speak today. <laughs> now this is interesting. These readings indicate that the sword of Kales is made out of biological material with a germanium base. I'll need to run more tests to be certain, but I believe the weapon was fashioned out of a Herc carapace. This may explain their interest in it. Your conclusion? We have a 4,000 year old weapon made of oh, a uniform. Carapace. My analysis of the radiation within the blade should allow us to narrow down its point of origin. I've had the computer working on that as we speak. Let's have a look. Cross-referencing all known Alliance and Dominion star charts and voila. There's one system that contains all of the conditions we've isolated. Havas Kul at the edge of Dominion space. It's possible we've just discovered the location of the Herc homeworld. We should forward this information to the appropriate parties at once. This could be the breakthrough we've been looking for. Sounds impressive. And valuable. Rule 21, Quark. Never place friendship above profit. Great. God damn it, why are you going to change the uniform and... Great. Lex took sort of Kalos, but... That sounds a bit fishy. He could have betrayed us longer, earlier before, but... Hmm. Unbelievable! I knew Brunt was a snake, but Lek? Guess I should have known better. The bigger the smile, the sharper the knife. And Lek's got plenty of both. You played us all for fools. He's a fool if he thinks he can steal from me! I'll have every eliminator, bounty hunter, and pirate in the four quadrants gunning for him! No one steals from the Grand Nagus and lives to profit from it! The Klingons won't be happy to find out. Considering how angry my father is, the Klingons will be the least of Lex's problems. I haven't seen him this mad since he caught me... Well, <laughs> we don't need to get into that. <laughs> Despite everything that's happened, we'll hold up our end of the bargain. I'll be in touch when everything is prepared. And remember, this operation never happened. I will return, I will return to my ship. Think they bought it? Completely. As far as they're concerned, the sword has been stolen. You uh, might want to lay low for a while, though. Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Well done, brother. The sword of Kalis, as promised. Once again, the House of Quark delivers. Martok will be pleased. So will I, Grilka, once the payment clears. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> I knew it. There was something you always got to do profit. <laughs> I realized this was an uh, unconventional mission, and it didn't go exactly as planned. Still, the data we discovered on the Sword of Talus should be very helpful to the Alliance. We'll need to keep some of the details of the mission classified, of course. So, whatever you do, don't mention it to Morn, or the whole Quadrant will know about it tomorrow. Okay, don't mention it to Morn. 
Okay, so I'm going to choose Lex throwing weapons. That, oh, that's quite a good damage, I believe. I think it is. Let me see what Sniper says. Okay. Collect reward. Okay, that was a fun mission. So much like an episode of DS9. It's very fun. And of course, Lex. Of course, he'll get away with it. Ah, oh, it was all a plan. That was fun. And see, what was our next mission? The next mission will be Tendrus Torben. Talk, I can't pronounce the name. And that will be out probably Monday if I record it. So, see you then, guys. Hope you had fun. See you next time.